Hey, creative friends. Hey, today I just want to talk to you a little bit about how I set up Lightburn to connect to my NAJ diode laser. And um, before I show you my exact settings, I just want to show you some websites that I found really useful and some documents. Um, and then also, I have uh, seen a couple of references to uh, Lightburn is about to come out with 1.0 version, and then their prices are going to go up. So right now it's $40 for this version that connects to our diode lasers, and that price will go up. I think I saw that it was going up to $60. So they are coming out with that new version on Monday, August 16th, 2021, depending on when you're watching this video. Um, but anyway, so my version of the NAJ diode laser is the Master 2 30 watt. Um, uh, it's not the 2S, it's just the 2, so the NAJ Master 2. So depending on uh, what version you have, just make sure you go through the correct tutorial. And so this um, blog post, this author does a wonderful job of putting together this tutorial. And there are links to different tutorials in here, so just make sure you follow the correct one. And um, not to um, really mention much at all in here, I did go through this exactly how it's written. And so I went through and installed, you know, upgraded the firmware and... Um, went through and installed drivers and uh, just followed followed this setup uh, completely and I did use their uh, let's see uh, they have a setup file and I did use that particular setup file but um, whenever I turned on my laser it was going very slow and making a, an awful clicking sound and um, so I did, in just a second, I'll show you a website where I found a, uh, a somebody else's setup file. Um, but, but I did go through this tutorial just as written. And I will show you, once I get into the garage, I will show you the test pattern that uh, he, uh, this person has a, uh, he's got a file where you can test, do a test burn on it as you finish up these settings and I will show you that test burn ended up coming out uh, reverse image and so I played around with that and, and, and um, whenever I, I will show you the settings that I used to help fix that. So I followed this tutorial but I did change two settings or, or two things. I'd used a different settings file and then I also had to adjust um, the the mirror image issue and so I found the answers to that in two different places but uh, overall this tutorial was excellent and then um, just to note in the comments there's lots of great comments on this particular blog post but I did notice down here in the comments there was somebody from NAJ themselves at the time and let's see I think it's um, this one right here, this Jack Wong. So uh, this individual has put a link to some uh, helpful PDFs. And so that's what I have here um, about the homing. So there are issues with these older lasers, um, whether they support homing or not. And so I was afraid that mine was not gonna support homing. Um, because it's the 2 instead of the 2S, but lo and behold, it turns out that mine does support homing. And so he, um, oops, sorry, this uh, this person does go through this document and explains that. There's also some ways that you can solder on to the um, circuit board yourself to, uh, to allow it to enable homing, uh, but thank goodness I did not have to go through all that um, because... Um, he does explain in here that, uh, let's see, where was it? Yeah, he talked about how you could go and actually look at your board itself, and there's different versions to the 2, not the 2S, but just the 2 has different versions. Yeah, so here it is. So you could go and look at the board itself, and depending on this number down on the bottom left, it will tell you. So. Um, so homing is supported if it's uh, 10, 
10 to 12. So now I did not go to try to look for that number. It's actually not visible um, when it, the way that it's set up right now. I would have to take some things apart to be able to see that number. Uh, so I, I didn't worry about it. Mine supports homing. So I was, I was um, happy about that. All right, so that light burn uh, set up and then take a look at all the comments because in the comments I found a link uh, for this document. All right, and then like I said, um, the original settings that came with this tutorial, I was getting a, a very, kind of a, a scary clicking noise whenever I first turned it on. And so I went out and did some more Google searches that led me to this post on the light burn forum itself. And so excellent information out here in Lightbird's forum and you can Google search it and uh, lots of good information about NAJ um, lasers but uh, let's see I found some links in particular that were uh, looking at the, the NAJ2 versus 2S um, uh, but anyway I believe this is the one that I installed so somebody in here had a link to um, for a new, yeah, this is it. This this was a um, Master 2 Plus um, light burn settings document. And so that is the one that I ended up using. And so that overwrote the settings from the tutorial. And so that got rid of the clicking noise. The, um, the laser seemed to be moving correctly, but I still had the issue with the mirror image. Um, to where everything was printing opposite and, and um, so to fix that I went back to the Facebook groups and again if you haven't gotten in there yet uh, make sure you join some of these Facebook groups there's lots of them um, many of them are run by the same person um, but these uh, NAJ laser Facebook groups are excellent and this one in particular uh, for software questions there was an individual a long time ago that had posted this file and uh, I, I can't really link to the file itself but I'll uh, see if I can link or at least you can you can screen you know get it from here but I'll see if I can link well and then of course you can't link to Facebook unless you have access to Facebook but anyway so just just get out and search for this document homing fix in AJ master 2 series and if you find that document um, some excellent information in it and this is where um, um, again, kind of this idea of home versus origin, you know, I still don't fully understand all, all those concepts. And now that I have mine working, it really doesn't matter. But I, I did read a, a lot of different things to try to help explain that. And this um, document did a great job um, and talked about the settings that this person used. And again, I'll show you my exact settings here in a second. But um, this person had some great settings. And then it was in here where I found information about, um, oh, this X and Y value. And um, uh, let's see. Yeah, here it is. This, uh, the Y direction invert. And so this was very valuable for me. So I ended up um, having to play around with this setting and that fixed my mirror image issue. And then from there, take a look at the, uh, the comments that I have gotten um, about the power settings uh, from my last videos. I've had, you know, thank you so much for all of you, of you that uh, post recommendations because that helped fix my power settings. All right, so with that, I'm going to wrap this up and then head out to the garage, and I will show you my exact uh, settings. Okay, so this was the uh, piece of cardboard that I was testing on whenever I w went to that tutorial for the very first time, and there's a at the end... Uh, he provides a logo that you can use to test, um, do a test print. And as you can see, of course, I um, this will show in the video correctly, I hope. But it was, not only was it mirrored, it was also upside down. And so I have always been using my, my NAJ laser uh, kind, of, kind of in this position. Um, yeah, 
well, if you can see that. But anyway, so I just thought, well, maybe it's not, maybe my orientation of the X and Y wasn't the same. So I ended up, <laughs> I ended up turning my laser around all different directions and I had created in Lightburn just a real simple shape uh, where I could go in and practice that. And so I had gone through many, many different times and um, then just turned my laser itself to try to get it to do correctly. And it turns out that um, the, the direction of my laser was actually correct to begin with, at least the orientation for the way I typically stand. The, uh, the orientation for my laser was correct. Uh, and so I kept messing around with those settings until um, I figured out again that, that mirroring issue with the, the Y invert, I think it is. Um, but anyway, so I finally, finally got all those settings right to where the shape as it appeared on the screen was the same way that it came out on my burned cardboard um, in relation to the way I'm standing uh, looking at the, the project. So once I got all three of those to, to correlate together, then I was ecstatic. And, and that did take me a while <laughs> as I, um, trying to think backwards and upside down. And then, uh, uh thankfully those settings, uh, fixed everything. And then I got the power fixed. So it's a little bit of trial and error, but it's uh, definitely worth it. Okay, so now I am in the garage and I've got my laser turned on and I've opened up Lightburn. And uh, I don't know how much I, I need to show you, but uh, hopefully you'll be able to tell um, from these windows anything that you might have questions on. I may be able to help you, but uh, if not, just to poke around in the forums and, and Facebook and, and certainly other people's comments on the videos will, will help. But I'll, I'll show you the device settings that I currently have been using. Um, if if uh, you'll be able to see this, I hope. But um, can't really remember all the different things I may have changed in here, but uh, it wasn't very many. So I know uh, this origin. Now I'm using uh, the top left here. Uh, I did put in these um, dimensions, and again, that's mainly so that the, the orientation that I am standing and looking at my 30 watt plus, um, that I've been able to set up the work window here uh, accordingly. And let's see, so the origin, my device settings, um, most of this was still by default, but I think I have uh, adjusted some of the things in here. Let's see, just... Uh, return to finished position. I did go ahead and turn that on because mine does do the homing, which I'm so thankful for. It, it does go back up to that top top left corner for me. Um, let's see, I don't think there's anything else in there to show you, but let me now go look at the machine settings. Yes, and this is where that one Facebook document had me come in and check some of these items. And so um, if I'll just kind of scroll through here and if, if that, that helps you at all. Um, just general config, let's see, that's, that's showing everything here. So I don't know that I adjusted anything there. Homing and limits, again, this seems to be working for me, these, these current settings. Um, and then output setup. I'll just scroll through here if there's anything that you want me to um, show larger at a later date. I can try to do that for you, but um, if I just scroll through here. Yes. All right, and let's see, this was some of that Y direction stuff. So there were some different settings in here that I did um, did mess around with and then that finally got the orientation of the print um, the burn uh, print correct for me um, so definitely just trial and error um, all right and let's see settings just real quick I'm not sure if there's anything in there that you might want to see but this is how mine is currently set up all right well thanks so much for uh Hope it helps, but uh, thank you all so much for helping me finally get Lightburn up and running, and I will talk to you in the next one.